China is investing a lot of money outside its borders. Here in the U.S., investment is growing by leaps and bounds, as it turns out, according to a new report. More Americans are working for Chinese companies than ever before, right here in the United States. Michelle Caruso Cabrera has the details. Roughly 80,000 Americans are on the payrolls of Chinese-owned companies located here in the United States. And just five years ago, that number was less than 15,000. In 2000, it was almost zero. Those numbers are still small relative to China's size. Consider that 700,000 Americans work for Japanese companies. Still, the authors of a new report about Chinese investment in the U.S. say between 200 and 400,000 jobs will be linked to Chinese companies in the U.S. by 2020. That's because Chinese investment in the U.S. is up sharply and rising. Roughly $47 billion has been poured into the U.S. by the Chinese since 2000. Ninety percent of that is in the last five years. The states receiving the most money, California, Texas and North Carolina, all more than $5.5 billion, followed by Illinois and New York. Many of those investments are in real estate or oil production and headquarters for Chinese tech companies like Alibaba. When it comes to the largest number of employees, North Carolina is the winner because it is the U.S. headquarters of Lenovo, the Chinese computer company that bought IBM's PC business a little more than 10 years ago and employs 8,000 people. Additionally, Smithfield Foods, bought by a Chinese meat processor a couple of years ago, has several facilities there, employing 5,000 people. In Illinois and Michigan, those are mostly manufacturing jobs. Americans are still a little uncomfortable, perhaps even suspicious, of Chinese companies. Several high-profile purchases by Chinese companies have been vetoed by the U.S. government due to security concerns. For example, Sinook, the Chinese government-owned oil company, was forced to drop its $18 billion bid for Unical back in 2005 due to strong resistance in Washington. Just yesterday, the U.S. announced it had discovered a Chinese espionage ring in the U.S. and arrested a Chinese professor who was allegedly part of that spy ring, stealing trade secrets from two U.S. technology companies. Steve Orlins, the president of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations, which commissioned the report, says there are bad apples in every bushel. There are Chinese who will come to steal. There are others who will come to steal. I think we do not see that these people who are investing are coming to steal American technology. We don't see them closing plants in the United States and relocating them back to China. But are they trying to develop product in the United States that goes global? Absolutely. Are they investing in R&D in the United States? Absolutely. I think it's a very positive story as opposed to a lot of the negative stories that we hear about China. Whether positive or negative, this study says Chinese investment in the U.S. is going to continue to grow and grow dramatically. For Nightly Business Report, Michelle Caruso Cabrera.